Hi. Hi. You got three shots, right? Yep. Thank you. We're still on for this afternoon with that real estate guy, right? Six o'clock. Great. These are rad. Where'd you get them from? Um, more like who'd we get them from? Shut up, Melinda. I know, right? Why doesn't she just work here or open up her own place? She'd probably make a killing. Have you ever hung out with her? Only once at a house show, but I don't know her, know her, you know? Why? What's up with her? Well, let's just say she's not really a people person. Catch her in the rye, huh? Nice to see you today's youth still interested in the classics. You know, I hate all that crap that's out there today. All that Hunger Games, Harry Potter shit. You know what I hate? What? Getting interrupted while I'm reading. Oh. Yeah, I, I can see how that would be annoying. Yeah, it's extremely annoying. I'm sorry, it's just a, it's a rare sight these days to see someone your age reading Salinger is all. It's a far more common occurrence than you think. Now, is it okay to get back to my book? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just love the man's work so much I get excited to talk about him whenever I have the chance. You know, I, I think a perfect day for Banana Fish is about the finest short story ever penned. Number 13! Oh boy! Old oh boy? What? Is he calling me old boy? What the hell? It's the name of burrito. You don't remember what you ordered? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. I, uh, yeah, I uh, only just started coming here. Um, my wife would have never let me eat at a place like this. I've been divorced now for the past six months. But I doubt my personal life is as fascinating as any yarn spun by Salinger, so I'll let you get back to your book. You know, a perfect day for banana fish is my all-time favorite read. I kind of have a crush on Salinger. Oh what, do you hate me now because I was being a bitch to you earlier? <coughs> do I hate you? No, I don't hate you. I tell you what I do hate though, is when someone tries talking to me when I'm trying to enjoy my food. Gotcha. Nah, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> the slits, I like that. You know who the slits are? Yeah, what, am I not supposed to know who the slits are? No, it's not that. It's just, you don't look like someone that listens to slits. Well, it's a far more common occurrence than you'd think. Touche, touche. Uh, you wanna join me? Join you? Yeah, come on, it's not like I'm a serial killer or nothing. I won't bite. I don't think I've got much room left for anything else after this burrito. Yeah, and I thought you didn't like getting interrupted while you're eating. Well, I uh, don't, but I'm finished now. Don't bite. What's your name? Charles. But uh, you can call me Chuck. Makes me feel younger. And your name is? Melinda. Melinda. That's a nice name. Um, there's a song called Melinda by Bobby and the Vancouver's. Melinda's the girl who came to my world and made my interest in all other girls stop. All right, stop. Bobby Taylor in the Vancouver's. Oh, you've heard of them. Should I not have? Well, they're a little before your time is up. Dinosaurs are a little before my time, but I still know what pterodactyl is. Ah, touche. But do you know how to spell pterodactyl? P 
T A. Well, shit. Does anyone know a spelled pterodactyl? P T E R O D A C T Y L. Pterodactyl. I like that uh, jacket. It's uh, very retro. A friend of mine gave it to me. Kind of have a thing for vintage clothing. Really? Hmm? So members only are considered vintage clothing nowadays? Oh yeah. They actually have a line called Thunderbirds, and those are worth a pretty penny. Really? Hmm? So they're pretty hard to come across? Pretty hard to come by. Well, hell, I got a trunk full of them back at the house. You have a trunk full of Thunderbirds yeah. at your house. Yeah. How? Well, I used to work for a guy who used to mass produce them, and when he lost his business, he kind of gave them to me as a memento. Holy shit. Hey, seeing as how you're into vintage clothing and all, uh, would you like to have a look at them? Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. About what? Well, coming over to some random old dude's house. Random old dude? Look, I, I might have a few years on you, but that doesn't mean I'm old. Well, I don't know how you are buying closed doors. You could be some psycho serial killer and kidnap me. Right, stop, 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 stop. Skin me and wear me. Hey, 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 now I'm offended, okay? I already told you I wasn't no serial killer. You know who says you're not a serial killer? Serial killers. killers. Okay, see, no, that's the problem. See, you can't be genuine and do something nice for somebody without coming off like some kind of crazy person with some sort of hidden agenda. I don't know what to tell you. Fine. It was nice meeting you, Melinda. You take care. Oh. All right. Wait, I don't think you're some psycho serial killer or anything, but a girl has to be safe these days, you know? Oh, if you'd like to have a look at them, I'd be more than happy to show you. Sweet. All right, let me get my stuff. Okay. Don't make me have to use this. Kind of like you. Kind of. I kind of like me too, so trust me, I don't want you to have to use that thing either. All right. So did I follow your way? Uh, yeah, I just live a few blocks from here. Uh, you have a car? Dude, I ride a fixie. A fixie? What the hell's a fixie? Okay, now watch your step. That fell more than a few blocks up. Yeah, the extremes women are willing to endure for clothing items. What would you do for a contact bar, right? <laughs> so you got anything to drink here? Uh, oh, yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> make yourself at home. Poison, screwdriver or Cape Cod? Uh, I was thinking more a glass of water. Oh, well, I was thinking maybe we could shoot the shit over a drink for a bit. Shoot the shit? Yeah. Didn't we just do that as soulmates? Listen, I don't get a whole lot of company being a recently divorced 14 hour a day workaholic, okay? So having someone over is a bit of a thrill for me. Um, I was just hoping maybe you could stick around for a bit. Then we could have a look at the jackets and you can be on your way. Only if I make the drinks. Well, no, 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 no. It's, um, I mean, it's my house. You're my guest. The least I can do is make the drinks. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable with that. Why is that? So I know you're not gonna do some psycho serial killer shit and spike up my drink and harvest my organs. Are you still on that serial killer kick? Uh, yeah, straight up. Being here is a little out of my comfort zone as it is. Well, maybe after I make you a drink, you'll be a little more comfortable. Come on now, sit down. Oh yeah, I'll feel real comfortable after a screwdriver and a splash of roofie. Roofie? Yeah, roofie. R-U-F-F-I-E, roofie.
Look, I get you all know what a fixie is, but you know where Rufy is. I know what a Rufy is. You know, I'm done with these games. I'm out of here. Hey, hey, oh, okay, okay, all right. It's not a big deal. Who makes the drinks? I was just trying to be a good host. Okay, because when you've been married to an alcoholic for the past 30 years, you kind of like to control the amount of alcohol being consumed in your home. Okay, I'm sorry. But it's not a big deal. No harm, no foul, no Rufy. Come on, look, I'll even give you a jacket as a peace offering if you want. Come on. Come on, what do you say? The minute you start getting fresh is the minute I start getting Ron. Comprende ese? <laughs> si, comprende, chica. <laughs> Whoa. Have at it, young lady. Do your worst. Oh, been a long time since uh, alcohol's hit these lips. <laughs> What's with all the bottles in your kitchen? Oh, um, those kind of came in handy while the ink was drying on the divorce papers, you know. Yeah, marriage can be an ugly thing, I tell you. You bet. Anyway, you don't want to hear about all that, so, um, why don't we have a look at those jackets, huh? Hey, I can stomach another drink down if you can, Lone Wolf. Ooh, Lone Wolf, huh? Ooh, well, bring it on, cub. Consider yourself lucky. I don't show these to just anyone. <laughs> no, I'm not going to see some poor girl change the floor in there, am I? <laughs> you give that serial killer stuff a rest already? Come on. Yep. Yeah. There she is. was a famous racehorse in the 30s that died all of a sudden. No one could figure out why. No one could figure out how. It wasn't until some scientists, 75 years later, had the bright idea of exhuming the horse's body. Exhuming? Is that even a real word? Sorry, English is my first language. You can already tell. Turns out, the horse ingested a massive amount of arsenic. So maybe 75 years later, some scientists gonna have a bright idea of examining your body to figure out how and why you died. But I doubt it. Now, what I gave you is something a little different. Works a lot faster than arsenic. I call this little tonic the banana fever. After the finest story ever penned, have a at chuck. Is this a 
Thunderbird? That thing's rad, right? Yeah, where'd you get it? More like, who do we get it from? Shut up! Melinda? Chuck.